Well, we're very excited about this birth because it was uh, nine, 918 babies born yesterday um, to the short-snouted seahorse, which is a native UK species. It's the largest brood by far that we've ever had here at the aquarium. Uh, the normal brood size that we have is around 200 or so, and prior to yesterday's birth, the maximum we had was 400, so this is more than double the maximum of our previous records, so we're very excited about that. It's very important for, for us to be breeding them because we're part of a program within the UK that's focusing on the closing the life history of these animals. So we're trying to study and understand what it is required for them to uh, rear up to adult size so we can close the life cycle because they are a protected species in the UK and um, as aquariums we want to uh, work towards our conservation. Seahorses are uh, famous for their unusual reproductive strategies in that the male gives birth to the young and um, basically the way it works is a female uh, develops the eggs in her body and then she deposits them into the male's brood pouch where they get fertilized and the male then goes through a, a period of gestation where the eggs are um, held within his brood pouch for a period of three to four weeks depending on temperature and species and then after that time he goes into labor and releases all the babies which are perfectly formed miniatures of their parents. The reason for having this many babies in the wild would be that most of them, of course, would get eaten by predators. So out of this 918 that we had born yesterday, maybe only one or two would actually make it to adult size and have babies of their own. So it's part of a strategy for keeping the survival of the population. It's very important to protect seahorses um, around our coast because they're susceptible to all sorts of things from uh, fishing practices that are detrimental to their habitat as well as pollution and uh, many species are also threatened by traditional Chinese medicine where they're harvested for um, their, their body parts and turned into medicine. So it's quite important that we protect them around our coasts because they are quite an interesting and unique animal.